Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my semi-annual empties. I have quite a lot of empties and we are going to go through this and I'm going to let you know which ones I've repurchased, which ones suck, which ones are amazing, which ones I might already have repurchased. Just going to go through these and tell you what I think about these. And yeah, these are all the products I've used up in since summer. Let's talk about them. And I did film this makeup look. It's actually me trying, I have it here, a full face of the new H&M Beauty. They just redid their entire brand again. Lord knows what's going on over there. I will leave a link to that down below as well in case you want to see this makeup tutorial right here. But let's dive into the empties. And I try to remember to put things in here as I'm going through them. There's actually a foundation, the Natasha Denona Foundation X. Uh, I was hoping I was going to go through that because I have so little left of it, but that's going to be in my next uh, empties instead. I know for some people, this is the most exciting video where they get to see the things that people actually go through. And for some people, they're like, this is not for me. And if it's not for you, I'm sorry. Thank you for being here anyway. I will link all of the products down below in case you are interested. And I have two of the Batiste uh, Dry Shampoo Volumizing. I really like these. I actually need to buy a new one right now. I'm actually fresh out of dry shampoo altogether. So I need to buy more dry shampoo. Batiste is still my favorite. I do have a light hair. So for me, I'm like, does it leave a white cast? I don't know. I don't care. I have, I have light hair, so it doesn't really bother me that much. I do like this one for a little bit of extra volume. It's really nice in your hair. I do like the one that doesn't have any volume as well, and I just want to refresh my hair. So I like both of these, but yeah, I've used this one up, and uh, it's in my wish list over at Ulta. I'm definitely repurchasing. I also used up a shampoo and conditioner from Virtue. I got this one sent as PR from Skin Store. I will link that down below. I do have a code with them in case you want to purchase something. Honestly, they have a bunch of really, really good stuff. And this is the Recovery Conditioner and Recovery Shampoo. And you know what? I really enjoyed this series. I thought it was a really good, um, like, moisturizing shampoo and conditioner that I really enjoy and I also like the I was gonna say the flavor of it no but like the scent of it it was like sweet but still it's yeah it smelled like an expensive hair salon I liked it I thought this one was really nice I used it up I really love it and I still have the hair mask from the same thing that I use every now and then in the shower it's also really good. I do have also the Olaplex Blonde Shampoo uh, and Conditioner. This one I just used up. After I used up this conditioner, I went in and I used up the last I had of my Olaplex one. Here's the thing. I'm not going to repurchase this one again because this is probably my third or fourth of these. If you've been on my channel for a bit, you know that I love this one. But the packaging just doesn't work and it drives me crazy so this is the conditioner i don't feel the same about the shampoo this is the blonde shampoo of my 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 preferred blonde shampoo i use this once a week i would say and i use this as a second shampoo so i use a normal shampoo normal I use a normal shampoo, I use this one, I leave it on for five minutes, and then I use a conditioner afterwards. And it just takes away, because I have a warm blonde color, and I want my color to be blonde and warm, but this takes away just the edge. Just that initial brassiness that always comes when you have, like, blonde hair, regardless. If, and I use this one when I have cool blonde hair as well. This is great. It really does work. It is very effective, but it's also not overly effective to the point that I feel like you accidentally turn your hair purple, unless you have like white hair. The conditioner though is too thick to be in a bottle like this. And I do love the conditioner, but eventually you just, there's a bunch left that you just can't get out. And it's just so annoying. You have to put your finger in and dig it out. And I'm not, it's not, no, it's not for me. I try, but like, I love the product but this this bottle is not right for something that is that thick i said what i said this is the i bought this one i still have a little left of the luigi one it's in my shower i bought this from lush this is the mario shower gel and i bought the luigi shower gel and i wanted to mention these here this one the mario one this was like pomegranate and spices so it's mm, it still smells like coca-cola very fresh and zesty and spicy and I love the scent but these are this one was bright red bright red and it was so like this red 
and there's so much coloring in this one. Like there's so much coloring in this one that you felt like you were using like kids paint when you there's there was a weird sensation with something being this colored and if you accidentally get this on your white towel it will it will stain it i am just like do we need that did we need it to be this colored because i feel like lush has that problem with other products as well i remember once using a bath bomb that was like bright pink and had glitter in it i literally had to go in with a heavy duty cleaner in my bathtub afterwards because my bathtub was pink stained pink and i'm like do we need that does it need to be that can we like tone it down a little bit so i like this one but the color it threw me off a little bit and it just made me feel like is this needed i have two here two like makeup remover balms that i've gone through this one is from oh wait can i open <laughs> This one is the Pacifica Wake Up Beautiful uh, Balm. This one is okay. Not my favorite. Not bad. If you end up like, if this is the only one you can find, it's good. It's nice that it's a squeezy tube, but this one is better. And both of these are sold at Target. This one is really good. This is the Naturium Fermented Cam Camellia? Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil. So this is a see-through, pretty non, I think this is non-scented. Yeah, it's non-scented and it is an oil, but instead of being like, you know, that like that just runs through your hands, it is more like a gel. So it is a gel oil that you like use as a first cleanse and then I go in with a second cleanse and it removes makeup very good. It is not as effective as like my the liquid one from uh, Peach and Lily that is still my absolute favorite, but I will say this is very convenient. This is very convenient. I can't lie because it is in a tube and because it is one of those gel like like you can literally do a little squirt on your hand and it won't like run through your fingers it's convenient and it's fairly affordable and like i said you can find it at target you can find it at amazon i do recommend it i i think it's a really good one. Oh my god there's another one of those dry shampoos and i also bought this one because i wanted to use this as an overnight treatment kind of a thing this is also from batiste and this is the dry shampoo overnight deep cleanse and it says that it helps while you sleep one of my best tips of keeping your hair fresh longer is to sleep with it in a bun either if you have a bonnet or if you have like a hair tie or i do it usually with a scrunchie or like a little clip maybe something like this just something to keep my head keep my head keep my hair on the top of my head so when i lay down on my pillow it doesn't scrunch my hair because it's like up here and before you put it up put a little dry shampoo in your roots leave it there do a little scrunchie clip it in put on a bonnet do something and let the dry shampoo work overnight you wake up and your hair is like fresh and it feels a little bit more newly washed that's one of the ways that i elongate my hair between washes to sleep with a little dry shampoo not a lot just a little bit in my roots and i thought this one was going to really work for that because it was like meant for, to be overnight but i don't think that this did anything special the only thing i really like about this one is the scent it smells almost pear and i do like the scent it smells it smells like sweet pear and i do like that but i didn't think that this did anything special over the night i felt like it was just a little bit gimmicky um and i feel like you can do that with just normal dry shampoo honestly try to do it with one that's not a volumizing one because of course the volumizing one is going to give you grit as well but yeah that's a tip if you want to like wash your hair a little less oh there's another uh here's the olaplex shampoo as well uh, i still like that one as well i think it's a really good one and here is the one that i just repurchased it's actually in my haul pile right now i went through my um favorites of last year 2022 and i went through and i'm like are these still favorites and i found this one this is the olaplex bond maintenance clarifying shampoo and i used this one up this summer and then i forgot to repurchase and when i went through my favorites i was like wait i missed that one these are great to use maybe I only wash my hair once or twice a week. So I don't use this one every time I wash my hair and you shouldn't either. If you use this one too often, it is gonna strip your hair. It's gonna make it drier. It's gonna irritate your scalp. But this one is perfect maybe once or twice a month. Just like a deep clean because this one, like I don't wanna use the word detoxify because like 
I think detox has been used incorrectly for so long in so many communities, but it strips your hair from um, product buildup. It just really does a deep cleanse of your hair and gets rid of stuff that normal shampoo doesn't always do. But for that reason, don't use it too often because it's gonna strip your hair from natural oils and moisture and it's gonna irritate your scalp. But every now and then to just reset your hair, it's amazing. And I just repurchased this one and I am thrilled to be using it again. Here is a dry shampoo that I got in PR. It's from Unwash. It's okay, it's not as good as the Batiste one and I can promise you it's more expensive than the Batiste one. And here is a dry texture, uh, Surfer Girl dry texturizing spray from Sexy Hair. This one, I've used so many. I've used so many of this one. This one that looks like this. This could be my third or fourth. I mentioned this in my yearly favorites. And then all of a sudden it was sold out on the Alta website. It didn't get like restocked. And then they removed the product from the Ulta website. So they didn't even have this one anymore. And me and my friend Heather, the both love this product. We were like, damn, it got discontinued. Look at sexy hair, discontinuing our favorite. And we were honestly kind of sad. And I've been on a hunt trying to find something that is as good and affordable as this one. And I couldn't really find, I found good dry texturizing sprays, but they're all pretty expensive. And then my editor, Rachel, let me know when she was editing my video. She's like, hey, this is actually back in stock. This is back in stock at the Ulta website. And I am beyond thrilled. This is so good. I will link it down below. I'm so happy that it's back. I'm so happy it wasn't discontinued. I don't know if they like reformulated or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna buy it again. I'm so excited. Oh, here's one of those Peach and Lily Ginger Melt Cleansing Oils. This is actually my favorite. This takes off makeup so effortlessly and it does have a pump that's really nice. It is like a, it's a clear oil. So of course it is a little bit more, you have to put it in your hand and not like spill it everywhere. But I, I can't lie, if you use a lot of makeup, like clearly I do, this one really does work wonders. And I don't like to dig my hands into balms. I have long nails. I don't like the sensory feeling of the balm under my nail. Absolutely hate it. So for me, I like this one instead. Here is a cleanser that I do not recommend. And this is from Glow Recipe. This is the Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. There is really nothing wrong with the cleanser per se but this is the wrong packaging. And I think overall, this is the wrong consistency. It is in a squeezy tube like this. And let me see if I can open it. It is like a big hole, but this is runny. It's like a milky liquid. It is, it is like, it is somewhere between, if you mix sour cream with milk, it's like a runny milky thing. It should have been a pump. This, when you open this, it just starts running out because it is a liquid. Like there's no need for a squeeze. It just starts running out. And if you do not stop it, like you have to do like this and then put it up again and put it, otherwise it's just gonna run out. It is the wrong consistency for this packaging. I honestly think they should make it thicker to be a little bit more of a creamy, thicker consistency or just put in the pump. This is just a bad decision. and. I am a little bit shocked because I love Glow Recipe. It's one of my favorite skincare brands. Glow Recipe, Peach and Lily, and also Naturium. Those are my three favorite skincare brands and you can see that in my empties. And I'm surprised that a brand that usually gets everything right got this one so wrong. I have two, is that true? No, I only have one. Oh yeah. I only have one moisturizer here because I actually have three moisturizers going at the same time right now and I'm switching in between them. Do I recommend that? No, but I did use up this one. This is from Skin Proud. This is the Sorbet Skin Everyday Jelly Moisturizer. I actually did clear this one out. It smells almost a little sharp. Um, I like this one until I started using Tretinoin. This one together with Tretinoin here you can see that this one isn't caring and uh, balmy and just kind enough to the skin because when I was using Tretinoin several days in a row and put this on the skin, 
there's a tingle. I can feel the burn. So this one just didn't work when you have a lot of actives going on in your skincare. So for that reason, I do prefer the other ones that I have going on right now, which is the snail mucin one that I'm using. I will put the picture up here. I did a sponsorship with them. Absolutely love it. I still use it. It's amazing. And also the Sunday Riley Ice. It's an amazing ceramide cream. I use that during the nights together with my tretinoin and it is just the most amazing thing. Just really a skin loving cream. So I liked this one until I started dabbling with actives. Then my skin was like, <laughs> no. I have, oh, I have two candles here. I have two candles here. I usually do not talk about candles here. I say in every time I have candles here, but I really want to recommend this. I actually think I'm going to repurchase this one. This one is from taxonomy candle i bought this from etsy because this one is tomato leaf and basil which is two of my favorite scents and oh it smells so amazing will say expensive candle but it's handmade it's from etsy and it comes in this glass jar and i like i like the sticker it looks like very rustic and nice it fit in with my decor and it burned pretty good, almost all the way down. And, uh So this is a tomato leaf, basil, clove, thyme, and sandalwood. So this is warm and herby and green and just absolutely wonderful. And now I'm like, wonderful. Oh, it's Page Candles Co. Why did I put the tax on? I have no idea. It's the Page Candle Co. So sorry, I will link it down below. Like I said, I bought it from Etsy with my own money. Absolutely love it. Natural soy wax candle, hand poured in New York. Love this one. So if you love tomato leaves like I do, cannot recommend this one enough. It is absolutely gorgeous. And also I got this candle from uh, Colourpop as a gift. When did I get this one? I'm not 100% sure, but I got this one from Colourpop. This is the Los Angeles Soy Candle poured in California with 100% soy wax. And this one is... I don't even know. Maybe it's called LA. I have no idea. It smells very nice and it smells... It smells like expensive laundry detergent in your very fancy vacation home. That's one of the best scent descriptions I've ever given. I don't know exactly what it smells, but it smells divine. And it, these two scents, the reason why I put them here is because they are unique, they are wonderful, and they filled up this entire top floor. And I loved them. Loved them. Oh, this is actually not an empty. This is a absolutely not. We're not using this anymore. Uh, let me get rid of this one. This is actually from Colourpop. This is the Bloom Service Rose Cleansing Balm. So this is the cleansing balm from, is it, is it 4th Ray Beauty, right? I think this is, yeah, the 4th Ray Beauty. This one, again, it's one of those where you dip your, I don't, I don't love that at all. Uh, it smells like candle wax without scent. This is a non-scented candle. It smells like that and it burns your eyes. And I can't do that. Sorry, I have too much eye makeup to have an eye burning thing taken off my eye makeup. I am a four year old and I need something that doesn't burn my eyes. Please and thank you. Oh, of course, I've used up a couple of these. These are from Dermatica. This is the tretinoin and niacinamide mix that they make for me. Absolutely love this. 100% recommend uh, Dermatica. I mentioned it in my yearly favorites. Yes, I have worked with them. Yes, I've had a sponsorship with them, but this is not sponsored. I still use it. I still love it. There is a reason why I wanted to work with them because I love the idea of getting tretinoin like a prescription based skincare sent to your home without having to go through the hassle of seeing a dermatologist absolutely love it and I do go through these and I think they're just great and I am turning oily because the light is making me a little a little toasty oh deodorant I know listen if you <laughs> I'm calling myself out here. If you go back to some of my older empties, I'm going to be the bitch that's like, I'm not going to talk about deodorant and soap. Eee. Look at me now. I want to mention these because I love these. These are roll-on deodorants. I have this one. In, this is the Dove Go Fresh. It's in pear and aloe vera. It smells really nice still. Lovely. If you, like me, hate 
the deodorant sticks, you know, the ones that are here in the US. They're so popular everywhere. It's so hard to find these roll-on ones. There are more popular, especially in Northern Europe where I'm from. If you're like me and you're like, you hate the deodorant sticks, they never dry down, they're smeary and they don't even work. What's the point? These roll-on deodorants, you can find them at Amazon. I really like these. I buy them in a three pack. They're very affordable. I will link the ones that I'm using and loving down below. If you have a problem finding a good deodorant in the US, try these. They're affordable and a bunch of you have been telling me that you're very happy that I turned you on these because they're great. They're honestly really great. I will link them down below. Definitely take a peek at them because they are amazing. I think all the things that are left here are makeup items. I first want to mention this one. This is the Juvia's Place Nubian Lash in Kush. I did decide to retire this pair because it's pretty worn out and when I put them on, they didn't look as fresh. <laughs> They, they look like they have been through the ringer and they definitely have. One of my favorite lashes, I think I discovered the, these this year, even though they weren't released this year. These are really good. I cut off about a third of them and used them as half lashes. They're really good. I've already bought a second pair. I think I already have a third pair as well. They're awesome. 100% recommend them. I also have two powders here. One is the one that I'm actually wearing today. I love this powder, as you can tell. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Well, this is nothing. This is an empty pan. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. I already bought a new one. I'm already using the new one right now. This is an amazing powder. I absolutely oh, am I showing you an empty pan. Love this one. I've gone through so many. This has been a favorite on my channel for about six or seven years on my channel. Like, I literally cannot rave about this one enough so good so affordable it comes in other shades as well definitely recommend it it is a beautiful smoothing with a little bit of a coverage but not drying powder from the drugstore i also really did like this one this is the covergirl advanced radiance i have it in 110 um you can tell i like this one too honestly i could see myself repurchasing this powder I could. I probably would buy a shade darker than this one, if I'm going to be totally honest, because the 110 was maybe a smidge and too brightening for me. But you know what? I could see myself repurchasing this one. I actually might. I did, I did enjoy this powder. I also have, oh, I have another pair of lashes here. This is the Vive Half Lashes in Smoky. Really, really good lashes. These are the lashes, well, not these, but this is the model of lashes that I'm wearing on my eyes today. They're a half lash that is flared and spiky and beautiful it's a really beautiful dramatic half lash if you're like me and you don't like having lashes in the inner corner here because of this i have a hood like my hood is in here and i don't want to have a strip lash all the way in there because i feel like the lash is just getting stuck in the hood i don't think it's flattering on my eye shape so really recommend these half lashes from vive they have um less dramatic ones as well but the smoky ones are my absolute favorite and i did actually repurchase three pairs of these from vive last time i made an order they're great i have the uh, major lamination gel from patrick ta uh this one it's it turns very goopy with time you my mind turns like this when it starts to get very goopy and it sticks on the wand that's when i retire mine because i feel like it's really hard to work with but still this is still my favorite brow product for me this works amazingly i have not found anything that works as good as this one on my brows it's still my absolute favorite to this day this is probably the fourth one that I've gone through. I've already repurchased and I'm using it. I also have two mascaras here. These are two of my favorite mascaras. This is the Tower 28 mascara. I'm definitely repurchasing this one. Oh my god, she is stuck in there. I've used this one up. It is dry. I can't really get the same result with this anymore. This is in the color Jet, which is the black, the original one. I think this is worth the hype. I think this is elongating and curling and lifts your lash. And it's also very dramatic. Like, it, the, there's something about the formula that just makes your lashes give an impact. This one is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. I've used so many of these throughout the year. This one has a very flexible wand. And this is a very lifting and elongating lash. This one gives me the long visible but still not overly dramatic lashes of my dreams it really lifts and holds my lash all day it's just a beautiful mascara if you want to have a very elongated and lifted lash that's not necessarily volumizing but just opens your eye up beautifully i also have two of my favorite brow pencils here this i still swear by these brow pencils i discovered them like i want to say like 
four or five years ago, maybe maybe three, four years ago. Now I don't remember, but this is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. May they never discontinue this one because it is the best. Like these, since I discovered them, nothing has replaced them. They're amazing. This is a, a brush tip. So it is not a felt tip, it is a brush tip and you can draw it. I've used this one today. Well, not the specific one, the new one. Clearly I've repurchased so many times. They're great. They last for me about six months, sometimes a little longer. And I draw in little hairs where I'm missing them, where I wish I had a little bit more hairs. I can just draw in and flick in a little hair to make my brows look thicker naturally this is better than most high ends better than all high ends i've tried anyways this is the best product on the market if you want to draw in more hairs in your brows they're absolutely amazing and they're affordable and they're at the drugstore and they're in so many colors i have this in ash brown and taupe i also used it in auburn when i had more ginger hair so many colors they're amazing i also have a brow pencil from house labs here and actually I should have used this today when I was talking about the brow pencil. I was... Oh my god, these are very similar. This is the brow pencil I'm using today from H&M Beauty. And I was saying in that video, it's so similar to the House Labs one. They're very similar, but the House Labs one is shorter. Uh, I wonder how much product is in this one. This from House Labs is in Auburn. I bought this one with, again when I was a little ginger. This one has... Oh my god. Zero point... 0 0.7 grams and this from H&M Beauty has okay so this one actually has less it has 0 0.05 grams but I can tell you right now the H&M one it is as good as the house labs ones but I'm sure it's mu less money it's a little less product as well but they're very similar both in packaging and in formulation and uh, I like the house labs one though I thought it was really good I just uh, got the auburn one when I was trying to do a little bit more like red brows I also have I love a white liner for my waterline I use that so much and sometimes I'll do white and then I'll put eyeshadow on top to make it match my lid color I love doing that a lot and I always use white as a base i I've gone through two white eyeliners. It also probably didn't help that I used this Odin's Eye one. This is the Odin's Eye white eyeliner. Uh, you can tell like it's, I can't twist it up anymore. It's out. And also this one from REM Beauty, it's out. I can't twist it up anymore. It's, we're done. <laughs> We are done. I used this one when I did my Halloween look. Uh, I did it once for Halloween and then I did it once like recreating the look here on YouTube and I ended up using up this white pen because I used that a lot when I was like doing that makeup look. But I love white eyeliners. I think they're absolutely amazing. I love the contrast. I know some people don't love contrast in your makeup, but I love contrast in my makeup. It makes me feel fierce. And since then I have repurchased a, not, well, I repurchased the white eyeliner, but I bought the one from Tarte and it is the best white eyeliner I've ever tried in my life. It is so incredibly good. Um, and I like these too. I mean, I used them up. So clearly I like them. But that one from Tarte, it is so incredibly good. It's called like the Bright... So I will link it down below. Remind me if I forget. But that one is great. And it also comes in beige. And it's already on my wish list definitely buying that. I also did go through another one of the Lady Bold lip liners from Too Faced in Badass. This is one of those that you like click up and this looks like there's a little here but what you're seeing is actually the plastic component like I can't uh, get anymore. It's just the plastic and I love this color. This is a my lip color but slightly lighter. So I love using this one when I'm doing like a lip gloss or a lip oil and I don't want to have like a darker lip liner this one is great for that because it also keeps my lip gloss or my lip oil inside my lips and not like spreading all over my face because I do not have a defined lip line I have very like my whole lips are just kind of flat on the surface on my uh, you can see it's like flat so this one just keeps the stickiness inside my lips and not just spreading all over my face I have gone through two of these and I decided to not repurchase. And the reason is it's too little product. It's too little product. So I need to find a product that is this color, but just in a packaging that has more product. Because I think this one is great, but it's just too expensive for what it is. 
I've gone through two of them. That's not normal. I even have a sample of perfume here and I didn't even go through it and I think I put it here because I hate it. <laughs> this is the Prada candy. Apparently I didn't like this one. I'm guessing it's because it's too sweet. Oh, yeah. Ew. Does people want to smell like this? That smells like artificial candy you get from the cheap family around the block when you're asking for candy for Halloween. I want to be a sophisticated piece of grass with a tomato leaf rank coming over and a little drizzle of rain. That's me but make it sophisticated. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. Like I said, I will leave a bunch of these things down in the description box. Let me know if there's anything here that you're like disagreeing with me on and let me know if you have any recommendations of some like replacements for some of these. Do you have a good lip liner recommendation for this one? It is a peachy beige. So it is not a pinky peach. It is not a pinky beige. It is a peachy base. Leaning on a little bit more on the neutral side, there's not like any pink in it. And it's light, but not too light. It's perfect, but I want to have it in another formulation. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and I hope you're having a great day. As you're seeing this video, I am on vacation, so I will probably not be as um, in the comments as I usually am. And I will see you when I get back from vacation, hopefully from my new beauty room. Bye.